Well, a volcano in southwestern Iceland has sent lava streaming towards homes, some of them bursting into flames. Joining me now is Geochemistry Associate Professor Oliver Niebel from Monash University. Oliver, thank you for your time today. I mean, this is the second time in as many months we're seeing an eruption near the small fishing town of Grindavik, the fifth time in two years. Why are we seeing so much volcanic activity in this particular part of Iceland? So... Iceland itself, the island, is made out of volcanoes um, in the order of 130 or so, whereas about 30 are active at the moment. And uh, the entire island is really made out of, up out of uh, volcanoes and out of lava. So it's not unusual, really, that you see lava coming out of the ground in Iceland per se. And uh, once a volcano erupts, you basically have um, pulses of lava coming out of the ground. And uh, there can be a little bit of time in between those eruptions. And uh, in this case, we had um, multiple weeks um, of quiescence in between. But it's not unusual that the lava then comes out of the ground. Again, uh, here in the picture, we can see a fissure in the ground where the lava is moving underground and coming out. So in an island that is really composed out of lava and volcanoes, it's not unusual that you see this activity. Uh, in fact, it's, of course, the very reason that Iceland exists. Mm. I mean, you mentioned there about 30 or so active volcanoes at the moment, making it one of the most uh, active volcanic, volcanic regions. Um, I guess explain to us a little bit, though, what actually causes this, because I believe that it's on the mid-Atlantic ridge. But explain to us what that actually means, because the plates beneath the surface split, but it, maybe you will explain that better than what I can. Yeah, you have two tectonic plates, the um, the North American and the European plates that drift apart really with the speed of how fast your fingernails grow. Uh, so that's uh, that's on the geologic timescales really um, how a lava is produced underground. And the vast majority of this ridge where these plates really move apart from each other is underwater, about two kilometers or so. Now, in the special case of, uh, of Iceland, you have a tectonic um, and geologic feature that comes in addition to these tectonic plates, and that's what we call a mantle plume. That is the reason why, for instance, islands of Hawaii um, come out of, the, out of the ocean in the middle of pretty much nowhere. And in Iceland, these two features come together, and you have really hot uh, material coming from the Earth's core uh, up to the Earth's crust, and that's where it starts to melt. And this is where melt is constantly produced. So for Iceland, that was the case for the better of 20 million years, and the, the, the island is building up one after the other with volcanic eruptions. Mm. And uh, the geologic timescales that we are looking at here, of course, are extremely long. So having um, years of eruptions here um, is really not really something very special for a geologist. Mm. Um, having said that... I mean, usually, it's, it's quite... I was just going to say, it's quite concerning, obviously, if you live in the region um, where this is happening quite often. Is it possible at all to predict these kind of volcanic eruptions, especially if you have communities so close by? Well, I think it's a calculated danger that you have to live with when you live on Iceland. Predicting these eruptions is notoriously difficult. Um, think about lava building up underground and not really any means of looking into the ground. The only thing we can do is look for um, volcanic tremor, that's smaller earthquakes that occur in a focused region. That tells you that lava is moving underground and it's coming out of the ground at one point. But it's really almost impossible to say where it comes out. In the case of this fishing village here, the volcano itself is actually a bit, a bit away from the village and the lava was moving underground and this came, came out of this crack in the ground, the fissure, which is not the volcano itself. So predicting that is really not possible. Um, what you can do in the short term is you can observe, you can monitor, and um, once you have one of those eruptions, it is likely that more lava is coming out of the ground. Now, the attempts to stop the lava are also um, something that sometimes works, but very often not. To give you an idea, in terms of the average amount of lava that comes out of Iceland or Hawaii per year, that would fill about 10 to 15,000 Olympic swimming pools of lava. So that comes out of the ground, it moves, wow. and stopping that is, is difficult. Oh, indeed. Thank you so much for explaining this uh, to us. I really appreciate your time today. My pleasure.